Oh man, you all right? They don't like me! Dang, well, not everybody can make it, man. I mean, if that was the case, everybody would be doing it. And at least you knew your lines and you went out for it, right? No, it's the principal. Is it cause I wear glasses? I have four eyes? Mmm, I'm pretty sure people in the industry wear glasses, dude. And your character wore glasses, so... You know what? You know what? It's... Is it the gap in my teeth? Is it a gap? Look at it! Ah! I'm pretty sure not everyone's teeth are perfect in the industry, man. I mean, look at Michael Strahan. Look how far he's gotten. And he's on the morning show. It's like Easter Sunday every morning with those things. Uh, it's probably because of this hairline! Look at it! There's nothing there! Oh! What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Breaking Out. What happened to my man scarf, are you asking? One week in a month is what happened to my man scarf. I'll wait about a week and I'll be back to normal. But in the meantime, I look like this guy. Hola! They slammed the door in your face without giving you a chance, you say? What? They ignored your God-given raw and untapped into talent is what you say? No. You gonna throw in the towel and just give up even though it's your first time you've ever auditioned for anything in your life? Well, looks like it's time to check in that self-entitlement ego there, Millennial. Because not everything's <laughs> given to you. This isn't your daddy's company. And sometimes you have to work for some things. So here you are, six different tips and tricks you can use for your next audition so you can possibly land the part, get a call back, or at least get a recognition for what you just did. So sit back and relax, Millennial. You'll get it next time. Excuse me, I'm eating almonds. Ooh, wasabi. One. Take a class. How do you expect it to know how to do something unless you actually go out and learn how to do it? Take an improv class. Learn how to work with anybody in the room and learn how to think on your feet. Take a voice pronunciation speech class, or VPS for short. For people like me, oh, it's needed. You have a mother that's from here in New England, and a father that's from the dirty South Louisiana. You put those two types of speech patterns together, and you get the whole gobbledygook language that I like to speak now, or that I learned from my household. So, let me tell you, when I took my VPS class, my VPS teacher had a field day with me out in L.A. Creighton. Yes, ma'am. Creighton, do you have a T in your name? <laughs> yes, ma'am, I do. Then I need to start hearing it when you state your name at the beginning of each recital. It's all about perfecting your craft in any way you can so you can actually land that role. So education is key every single day. Number two, do your research. What is the type of character that you're trying to portray? Who are they? How do they carry themselves? Are you playing the role of a police officer? Do they act like firefighters? I'm pretty sure that they don't. Do they act like teachers? Mmm, probably not. Unless they're the school resource officer, they're probably not going to be teaching math anytime soon. So know the role before you step in into the audition room. You'll be more believable and people will take you more seriously. You're more likely to get praise from the casting director if you know and get inside the head of your character. Number three, dress. No, you don't have to go in there dressed in a tuxedo or a ball gown like you're about to walk down the red carpet. You have to realize that it's a legitimate job interview. You want the casting directors to take you seriously. So don't walk in there all musty, crusty, busty. You're 35 and you got a ball cap backwards with holes in every part of clothing that you're wearing like you're in 11th grade. Not gonna fly and you're not gonna get the job. Number four, health and fitness. No, you don't have to look like the Incredible Hulk. Or that you're about to film the new revamped series of Baywatch 
But you also have to look like you're not about to die tomorrow. Or in the audition space. Whatever comes first. I mean, you're not trying out for a new episode of Lost. And you're not a barbarian. We do cook our food now on stovetops. So it doesn't hurt to actually put a little band underneath your arm and to fix your disheveled hair. Maybe clean the dirt from underneath your nails. Goes a long way. And casting directors pick up on these little things. It's a long day for everybody, so don't make it longer. And maybe in your free time, you can go around the block a couple of times to keep your cardio up. So that one time when you get a roll where you have to go up and down the stairs a couple of few 50 times before they get the take right, you don't die halfway through from an asthma attack. I'm just saying, a little bit goes a long way, and so does in two blocks. Number five. Practice, practice, practice. Will Smith once said, Talent you have naturally. Skill is only developed from hours and hours and hours of you beating on your craft. Well, CJ, that was very inspirational, but uh, how do we practice? Look up your local community and theater groups. Go to your surrounding colleges and universities and see if they have a film or theater program. And if they do, at the end of a college student's senior year, they'll be producing some type of theatrical or film piece. And with that, they'll need extras and background actors for those roles. And at the very least, pick up a book, recite it out loud to yourself or for others to hear so you can better work on your diction, your speech, and your memory skills. Practice in any way goes a long way. Number six, and one of the most important tips, you could be horrible in this industry. The one thing that everybody will always remember you for is your personality. First impressions are everything in this industry. Don't be that guy that goes to the middle of an audition with a chip on their shoulder, R. kelly everybody's Cheerios, thinking that they're God's gift on the face of the earth. Guess whose name that the casting director just forgot about like it's a one night stand? Yours. And guess who's out of a job? You are. So don't be like that guy. Be like Annie. Instead, sunshines and rainbows. The sun will come out tomorrow. Positive energy makes for a positive outcome. And they'll remember you for that. But don't be fake about it, because they can tell the difference. So there it is, everyone. My six tips for your next audition. Please let me know what you thought about the video in the comment section down below. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And thank you for joining me. Until next time, don't forget, keep trying to break out.